Hey folks, welcome to Hayden Be Grilling. Now today we're gonna to be in the grilling shack. It's as close to a shack as I can get it for the time being. I know we ain't got a roof, but we got our walls up. But today we're gonna to be on the smoker. We're gonna make a Tropicana chicken. I've seen this recipe a while back on Grilling With Dad. Very good channel worth checking out, but we're gonna give it our, our go at it. So let's get started. All right, first thing we're gonna do with our Z-Grills pellet smoker, we're gonna raise the lid, turn it on, and hit the smoke cycle. Now that our smoke cycle is completed, we're gonna bump it up to 325 degrees. Now, I've not smoked anything at this high of a temperature yet. But. All right, so while our smoker is heating up, we're gonna go ahead and start doing the rest of the preparation. We're gonna take one pineapple. We're gonna come in right about here along the top. And we're gonna cut the top off. Now folks, I've never used this knife. Lindsay got me this for Christmas. Beautiful blade. Look at that bee grilling inscribed on it. Beautiful knife. Never use it, didn't know how sharp it'd be. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's really sharp. We're not gonna discard the top, we're gonna hold on to it. So just set it on a tray, set it to the side for the time being. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these little leaves off. I guess I can just pull them off, but we're gonna remove them. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come along the bottom here and we're gonna cut into it, but we're not cutting all the way through. Okay, just kind of give you a nice little cut. Where it is, there it is. All right, then we're gonna stand it up here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave this top this core here right i'm gonna come straight down gotta really be careful with this knife cut yourself quick we're gonna cut that off and then we're gonna come down this side do the same thing there we go now, you can save that, these pieces of pineapple, just eat them. Or you can make a, like a pineapple salsa. I'm not gonna do a pineapple salsa, but if you wanted to, check out, like I said, uh, grilling with dad. He takes his pineapple and turns it into a salsa. I did have to shave the bottom of it like that because you want it to stand up upright on its own. All right, so we open the sink or the chicken in the sink, drained it out, rinsed it out, inside and out, removed the giblets. And then we went through, we pretty well got it all patted dry already, but you wanna pat dry the skin. And you're gonna come over it with your favorite uh, rub. Now I'm using Granny Moore's Good Rub. I'm just gonna season it all up. I put it in this pan here, so that way it'd catch most of my droppings. Droppings. Yeah. Most of the seasoning, don't, make, don't want to make too big a mess. But you're just going to season it up and make sure you get in that armpit there. All right, now here's going to come the interesting part. I'm going to position the camera up just a little bit. So we're going to take this chicken. Now that's nice and seasoned up. We're going to set it down onto the pineapple. See? I was worried that our balance was gonna be off, but she's balancing in there pretty good. The top of my chicken isn't very well seasoned, so I'm gonna go along the top right here, sprinkle me some more seasoning. There we go. Now I did cut that little bit of a neck bone off. I cut it out, but we did that. Because when we sit this dude on the grill or on the smoker, we're gonna set that pineapple top Right there with it. If my lid will close and I'll have that much clearance. All right, folks, so we've reached our internal temperature or our cooking temperature, 325 degrees. We're gonna take our chicken with the pineapple on the bottom. We're gonna set it directly on the grates for an indirect cook. 325 degrees. We're going to just close the lid. 
but we're gonna let this thing cook out to 165 degrees internal temperature. All right, we've hit 165 degrees. Time to take a look. Here we have it in the house. I do apologize. I didn't get an official taste test. But I promise you folks, this was absolutely incredible. Hey folks, real quick, I'm going to do the wrap-up video here. Uh, it is really hard to do a taste test video when you've got company over. Uh, a lot of conversations going on. But I do want y'all to know that this chicken come out amazing perfectly cooked tender juicy and had that great flavor from the pineapple on it now i did not make the sauce that goes on it in the grilling with dad videos didn't need it so good y'all give us a try i'm gonna post the recipe in the description y'all please let me know what you think of the video y'all please like subscribe and we'll see y'all later